Hi friends, it's Deanna here today. And today we're working on the Razorback Wrapped Swimsuit. Um, there are two options on the swimsuit. There is the one-piece option and there is the two-piece, the bikini option. Um, we already sewed up the one-piece option, which Ellie is modeling for us today with this gorgeous Razorback. This one's a little bit big on her because it's my size, not her size but that's okay. Um, there you have it with the ruched on the side. So if you wanna check that out, go check out that video. But today we're working on the bikini version. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, if we're going to be doing the uh, built-in version where we do the slip cups, um, to add the cups and the removable cups. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my liner. So this is my liner, I'm just, both of them, I'm just gonna lay them out on my mat. And I'm gonna trace that little circle that is on my pattern. So I cut it out of my pattern, and now I'm going to place it right on top of my pattern, and I'm going to trace it onto my actual liner, and then I'm gonna cut right around it because that is where we're going to fit in the little bra cups through when we go to put them on, the removable cups. So we're gonna trace that and then once I cut that out, I'm gonna go over to my serger or my sewing machine and you're gonna finish up that raw edge with like a serger or a stretch stitch or any kind of way you wanna finish it up. All right, now that those have been finished, if you are not doing the removable cups, obviously you can just go ahead and skip that step. I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, my liner and put it face up. Um, if you wanted to do the, uh, the cups, just attach them to your top instead of having them removable. In the other video, I show how I do that, how I just base, I, I sew the shoulders first and then I drape it over and I grab the, the cups and I put them where they're gonna go and then I sew them on um, and then that way they're permanent, not removable. Um, this one I'm going with removable cups. So I'm going to grab my back liner and my front liner and I'm going to place them right sides together. Um, as you can see, this is our, these are the side seams over here. This is the neckline. So I'm going to match up those uh, shoulder seams on both sides and I'm going to sew them with my preferred stretch stitch. And then I'm going to do the same for my outer. Match the shoulders and go sew them up. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and place my um, outer wrong side up. So the wrong side of my outer is facing up and I'm gonna grab my liner and I'm gonna put it wrong side down. So the wrong sides are touching. So those seams, shoulder seams are touching. And I like to do is I like to have one seam of the, one of them going one way and the other one going the other way. So they're kind of nesting together um, to reduce the bulk. And we're going to go ahead and pin them together at that neck, bra edge of the neck area. And once they're all pinned together, then we're gonna go over to our sewing machine and base them on. And to base, I like to do a uh, like a long straight stitch. Um, and the reason why we're basting this on is because next we're gonna attach our elastic and we'll sew that on. So we don't want like a double bulky um, seam. So we'll do a seam like a, uh, a basting stitch with the liner and then we'll do a real seam when we sew it on when we sew on the elastic. All right, so now that that is basted together at the neckline, we're going to go ahead and quarter our neck band, our neck and our elastic. So I'm gonna grab those shoulder seams, put them together, go to the back and mark my back. And I like to do like a little notch, just got my scissors here with me, which I just trim a tiny little bit. Um, that way if my clip falls off or moves, I still know where my center is when I'm sewing. 
Then I'm gonna grab my front bodice and go forward, go into the back and mark my one side, that's my quarter, and then do the same for the other side. And then I'm going to grab my elastic and I'm gonna quarter my elastic by folding it in half. And this one I'm not going to trim with my scissors because I do not want it to, I don't wanna cut it. You could though with like a pen or a marker or something, mark your quarter. That way if you lose it for some reason, you can find it again later. Then I'm going to one side, mark, and then the other side. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and place my elastic right over those quarter points. See, my pin fell off, but I had that mark right there, well, my clip, so I is not gonna be like, ah! And at the end, we're going to leave a quarter inch seam right there with without your elastic because you don't want those sides to be super bulky when you sew them together so you can move that in just a little bit so once i clip them together i'm going to go over to my sewing machine and i'm going to sew it on you could do it with your serger you could do it with a zigzag stitch stretch any kind of stretch stitch that you want to do it with i'm going to do it with my um a zigzag stick on zigzag stitch on my sewing machine because um I don't want it to be a bulky seam, so that's why I don't usually do a serger, but um, it actually would be super easy to do with a serger as well. Maybe I will do it with my serger. I don't know, whatever you choose to do. <laughs> All right, I did decide to go with my serger. Um, once you do that, if you wanna go ahead and remove that basting stitch now, before you move on, um, that way is out of the way for later. You can do that, you can do it later. It really is up to you, it's no big deal whenever you wanna do it. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to grab that edge and fold it in towards the wrong side because and then um, pin it and then we're gonna go over and top stitch it down. I am going to be using uh, my cover stitch uh, just because it's, I don't know, it's just, I, I, I like to do it with my cover stitch, but any kind of stretch stitch would be fine on your sewing machine or whatever. Um, just make sure that it is a stretch stitch because you know it's gonna be on your suit. Um, but I just wanted to make that, let you know that I am using a cover stitch. Um, I get a lot of questions about my cover stitch. It looks just like my serger basically. So I do get a question, I do get questions asking if it is, uh, if I'm serging it on. I'm not going to be serging it on. I'm using my cover stitch. All right, so now that our neckline is sewn, I'm putting my back outer right side up on my mat, my, line, my back liner is out of the way. I'm gonna grab my front and I'm going to do my crossover, put that on first. I've got my outer, this is my outer and my liner right on top and then the other side right on top of it. And we're gonna baste those together. So put in a basting stitch right here so they don't move and do all that fancy stuff. And then once you baste that, then you can come back to the other side and baste this side. I'm stubborn and I'm just doing it all at the same time. But because it's kind of comes a little bit tighter, that's why you wanna maybe baste one side at a time so that they don't come loose on you. But I'm making that sandwich on this side as well. Oop, that liner is falling down a little bit. Make sure it's, make sure all the layers are even. That one layer was not even. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go baste those on. And once those are basted on, we're gonna grab the back liner and we're gonna bring it right over and then we're gonna baste that on top. So, I mean, Probably shouldn't do this all at the same time, all the layers at the same time, because they, there's a lot of layers. It's a big, big sandwich. 
of uh, lining and swim fabric and a lot of times I end up going to do it and then I end up regretting my decision because I wanted to do it all at once but since it's just a basting stitch I'm gonna dry it I'm gonna try to do it all at once and then come back and let you all know how it went <laughs> if you want to do it all at once I mean you can if you don't if you want to be more careful you can do that as well we're gonna sew that together all right because I basted all of them together at the same time I need to make sure that every layer see that one didn't get caught so I'm gonna have to redo that this is the reason why you don't do them all at the same time and I want to make sure every layer got caught on all of them so this one did well the other one I didn't do so good at so I'm gonna have to go back and redo that one but you want to make sure that they all got caught on there so that way you don't have any surprises later when you are putting your suit together and you realize oh no there's a piece hanging out so I'm gonna redo this one real quick on my machine like I said it's just a basting stitch so I can redo it I was gonna have to baste them all together anyway but all right now they're both perfect awesome all right so now we're going to quarter for our elastics um, so we're gonna turn it right side out and now because we did that our seams are encased in there in our liner so all we've got left to do is our um, elastic and on our shoulder on our arms and our bottom elastic so I'm going to grab all my elastics. I'm going to do them all at the same time. I'm going to zigzag stitch them together at that end. So that way they are on the round. I'm just going to step over to my sewing machine and do that real quick. All right, now that these are sewn together, we're going to quarter them by grabbing the back and going to the front and marking. Again, I'm probably going to use my pen and do the little marking trick on it that way I don't lose my spot and then match the front and the back and go to the sides and I'm gonna do it to all three of them then once they're all marked on the things the elastic we've got to do the same to our uh, bathing suit so as you can see the back of the bathing suit is because it is a razor back they're not even so we want to go ahead and go from the top to the bottom which will not be that seam right there as you can see and mark it and then you grab that notch the half and the seam of the shoulder and put them together and go to the sides and here and then the other side and we're going to do the same for our other arm side and we're also going to do it for the bottom of the bodice so open up make sure that I'm doing the right one grab those two side seams match them together go to the front and to the back and then obviously you have your side seams already all right so once that's done once they're marked we're going to grab our elastic and we're going to match up those quarter points with our elastic to the wrong side of our bodice for all of them And then just like we did our neck band, our neckline, we're gonna go over to our machine and sew the elastics on, stretching as you go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with my sergers again. Remember to catch your cup as you come along, the little uh, edge of your cup. Because for a little bit, you'll only have the outer, not the liner and then make sure that you catch your cup again at the other end, like where it comes back around. Now 
Now, just like we did with our neck, we're gonna go ahead and grab our uh, seams, our elastic, and fold them towards the inside. Then we're gonna pin, and we're going, we're going to top stitch. And we are done with our top. And then we'll move on to our bottoms. All right, so we finished our top and Elle could not wait to try it on. So here it is, super cute. And now we're gonna go ahead and work on our bottoms. So if you're not doing the color block version, you can skip this part, which is where I'm working on the color blocking. Uh, but if you are, then this is where we go. The first thing we do is we're gonna go ahead and place all our pieces out so that we know exactly how this is going to be color blocked. So it gives you a little bit of a mental image and it doesn't like get confusing once you start sewing things on. I always like to do this too when I'm color blocking a lot of things. Um, just because I wanna put them in order first, it's easier to sew, I don't know. Anyway, so we're gonna grab the outer one first and we're gonna put it right on top of that edge. And you see how it like curves the wrong way now? So you're like, oh no, that's okay. We just let it do its own thing and kind of guide it along and help it go around and get in there, clip it, pin it, whatever it is that you do. And then we're gonna go ahead and sew it. Once we sew it, we'll see that we'll open it and it'll look all nice and cute. And then you can, if you wanna give it a little steam, you can um, be really, really careful with your swim fabric. And then you can go ahead and top stitch that down. So we'll sew it, turn it, top stitch it, and then we'll come back to this big area right here and we do the same thing. We'll flip it over and right sides together, start attaching those. I hope I remember to say right sides together. These are gonna go right sides together. Cause right now we're just building that front uh, bikini bottom piece. That's all we're doing. We're building a uh, canvas to work off of. Then once we put it together, then we'll sew the back and front together. We'll sew our liner on and our elastic and we'll be done. See, once we do that, then we top stitch that one as well. So let's do all those things. And obviously you can do one at a time, but you know how I am. I like to do everything all at once. Um, so yeah. So I almost forgot to mention, we're gonna do the same for the bottoms. So here's the bottoms. We're gonna place them up and this is how they go. The rounded edge goes against the, uh, the seam. So we're gonna fold it right on top and do the same thing we did, uh, the same thing we're doing for the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and do them all at once. All right, now that we've got both of those finished, we're just gonna lay them right on top of each other and match those sides, right sides together, and the bottom, right sides together, and do the same thing for the liner. And then now we're gonna go ahead, I don't know if I mentioned this, but we're gonna go ahead and sew with the preferred stretch stitch. So I'm just gonna do my serger. All right, we are almost done with our bottoms. So now that they are sewn together, how cute are these? I love the color blocking. I think they look adorable. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my liner and my outer. I'm gonna flip them right side out and I'm going to fit my liner inside of my outer. So that way your seams will be inside. Whoop. Sorry. Your liner is right, wrong side out. I'm like, wait a minute, that does not look right. Yes, so that way your seams will be encased in there. And I'm just gonna pin it right now and then we're gonna work on our elastic 
and we can go ahead and sometimes it helps if you want to you can go ahead because elastic is I mean elastic because swim is so slippery sometimes if you want to go ahead and um, baste them on like the oh my goodness my clips just are flying slipping off my fingers if you want to baste like the waistline on and the legs on together like the liner and the outer together you can go ahead and do so just put in a basting stitch there if your swim fabric is very slippery and your sewing machine is just kind of slippery and you're like oh i just want to make sure that they're going to stay together you can go ahead and baste those together if you'd like makes things a little bit easier um so our bottoms will be ready to go ahead and add the elastic i'm going to grab my elastics and just like we did with our bodice uh, we're gonna put them together at the, at the raw edges and zigzag stitch them together So I'm just gonna go over to my sewing machine and do that real super quick And now we're gonna go ahead and quarter them as well So go from the back to the front just like we did on our elastic for our swim for our top We're doing the same thing for these all of them and then we're gonna quarter our leg just like we did our arms on our bodice. So let's do that. Now again as we did with our top with our bodice we're gonna go ahead and grab our elastic and attach it to our quarter points on the wrong side of our swim and then go over and attach it with your preferred stretch stitch which I'm going to go ahead and do my serger again because um, that seemed to work really great for my bodice um, and then after that we're gonna fold it over I mean fold it under to the inside and top stitch like we did our bodice and then we'll be all done you all this is super cute um, it wasn't even that hard I know sometimes like Honestly, it's so funny because color blocking can be so intimidating, but it's really color blocking is the easiest thing. Just as long as you get your fabric correctly, you know, uh, position correctly, so you remember exactly which one goes to what piece. Color blocking is super easy, uh, super simple, super quick. So let's finish this one up so you can see how cute it really is. All right, my friends, we're done and Ellie is ready to head out to the beach and have a fun time with her new suit. I love the high-waisted, I love the color blocking. I think it looks super, super adorable. The razor back, sorry, she's having struggle um, keeping it on. <laughs> it is not her size, it's a little bit too big for her, but um, it is still super cute. Um, I can't wait to try it on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please comment, like, share, subscribe if you haven't. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that I did. Come find us on Facebook and Instagram where we have lots of help. Um, we have tons of sewists that are sharing their makes with us um, and inspiring us to make beautiful things. And we want you to inspire us with your makes. So come show them off over at our Facebook page. Um, please go grab this pattern. I'll add it to the link below, uh, to the info below. Um, grab the pattern, make the different options. This is the bikini option, but there's also a one piece option. Go check out that video if you haven't, um, so you can see how you make that other option that you saw on her earlier. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. She says bye as well. <laughs>